Hey guys, I wanted to show you an example of getting Apollo Link State working with Apollo Boost. I actually had a little trouble setting up Apollo Link State at first because I tried copying the uh, README of Apollo Link State verbatim using their is connected example, and there seems to be a few things that are not matching up that I had to change to get things working. So I wanted to show you that, and I just kind of adapted uh, the colors. Um, just a little example that I made the other day and I made it working with Apollo Boost. So here's the first thing that I did. So I have Apollo Boost installed and I have React Apollo. And I also installed React Apollo, the newest version, so it has the query component. So here's the thing with Apollo Client now. You actually don't, notice how I don't have Apollo Link State up here. I don't import it or anything. I set up Apollo Link State with this client state. So this is where you put all your stuff. So you see where it says resolvers right here? This is where you would put all your stuff, your queries, your mutations for uh, Apollo Link State. And then here are my default values. So my default value is my network status. So this is the one they had in their example. And is connected is true by default. And then I have one mutation that just uh, changes it, right? Updates the network status. Okay. Um, and then over here, Apollo provider, same as usual. You pass the client in. All right, so let's take a look at some of these other files. So first off, let's take a look at colors. So colors over here is pretty interesting. Um, it now is using the query component from React Apollo. I went ahead and mute, uh, removed the mutation because we'll talk about that in a second. And then GQL from Apollo Boost. So I define my query and you'll notice I'm getting the network status from the client. And to specify that, I have at client here. I'm getting is connected. And I'm also fetching colors from the API um, that I'm connected to. And I don't know if you guys noticed that, but on my index over here, I just you know added this on to Apollo client. I still have my URL here. So pretty nice. All right, so back to colors. OK, so with colors, I am using the query component. So here I am passing in the query and I get loading and data. I check whether we're loading, I'll display null, otherwise I'll display this fragment. In this fragment, I have my colors as usual, and here I'm checking the network status and displaying connected or not connected. Um, now, I wanted to also keep my mutation for the other one, but the mutation component doesn't look, seem like it's in the NPM package yet. I took a look at all the things that are being exported from the NPM package. They have not released the mutation component yet so only the query component is available so I just went ahead and remove this um, and I have this little button in another component that actually controls this so notice how there's nothing changing network status in this component right so this is what I really see a strength of using Apollo link state is being able to do this so I'm updating this color query right because I'm saying connected or disconnected just by clicking this button and the way I do that is in my change connection over here. So in my index, I am rendering colors and change connection. So if we take a look at change connection, what this does is uh, I have my query component, which uh, I didn't actually end up using for this because I wanted to show you guys how to do this with just the rudder higher order component too and show you that both still work. So here is my change connection. So I have two GraphQL things going on here. First, I'm querying the network status because I want to just invert the network status. If it's connected, I want it to be disconnected. So in two places, I'm querying the uh, network status, right? In the other component and in this component. And so I connected it to this component. And the way I did that is I composed these two higher order components uh, like you've seen before if you used Apollo client. And I also have my mutation here. Notice how I used at client again with the mutation. Um, and here I'm passing in a variable and everything else should look the same mutation here it's a named mutation we could get rid of that that's not necessary um, you could have it just like that that's usually how I do it um, yeah. and then this is how we update connected so I take whatever value I get from query and I just invert it here so here are the props that I get from this mutate coming from this and then here's my data that I get from because uh, it's a query. So I check whether we're loading. If not, I display this button and then I mutate. So let's go look at the resolver that uh, 
gets this to work, right? So I send this mutation off, I pass in my variables, the variables that I'm using are is connected, and I just invert network status. And that allows me to control all the queries across all my components um, that use this. So anyone who's querying network status is gonna get updated uh, from this. So that's pretty sweet and has a lot of use cases. So I like that a lot. So here's what my resolver looks like. Um, we just take the variable they pass in and we just write it to the data. Now notice this is important. I matched up the defaults here, right? So my network status, curly brace here, and we have type name. Type name is very important. It gets stuff gets messed up if you don't have that. Now I want to see. This is something I noticed with um, Apollo Link State. For whatever reason, it, it has a missing field network status, and this happens on my colors query. Um, even though it actually has a network status, right? Because it's able to to get it it's disconnected. But every time we can clear this. Every time it loads in, this warning pops up. So I think Apollo Link State still has a few bugs in it, and I believe I was able to crash it. Um, let's see if I can still crash it by coming over here and removing query. Uh, so just not passing in the query. See, it just crashes it for some reason. Even though I don't have any queries that I want, you need to specify that. So there's a few things that are tricky with this, so I wanted to give you guys a working example with this. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check this out. I think I'm going to let Apollo Link State B let them iron out some of their bugs. I'm glad I got this working, um, and I see a lot of good potential for this, especially because it integrates really well with Apollo Boost. Um, I was able to set this up very quickly, and uh, it seems really nice. So check out Apollo Link State. I'll be probably using this in projects in the future um, when it gets a little bit more established and uh, there's not as many bugs with it because I think it is still very new. That's it for this video, guys. I think I'm going to step away from Apollo, all the new Apollo stuff, and let them just develop it and finish it and get it out of beta and stuff because all this is going to be changing so fast. Uh, no, no point in having it be obsolete in the next week or so. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.